Hey Cancer Seeker. So 2019, huh? We're doing it. We're doing it. I pre-shuffled. Focused. I know you trust me. And if you don't, what you doing here? <laughs> okay. Happy to have you here. So, so happy to have you here. Very excited for this reading. A little bit of Palo Santo for the vibe. Breathe in. You can breathe it with me. Breathe in. Breathe out. 12 cards. Sorry, 13. January, February, March, and so on till December. We're going like this. The 13th pile represents the entire year of 2019. I have the After Tarot as a main card for each month. And then Celtic Tarot, two, they're smaller, so it's convenient to work with them. Two clarifiers for each month. And of course, one rune for each. And I have the same for the 13th. We will finish up with oracles, I Ching, and Akashic Records. Ha! Okay, first off, I'm so happy to have you here. Second, it's going to be okay. We got this, right? Okay, without further ado, let's get to it. January for my Cancer Lovely Seeker, which I adore. Oh my God, seriously? Really? <laughs> 21, the world, the first card in this massive reading for the year of your 2019th, January, this is how we start. Whatever was is gone. Not in a bad way. It's not really gone. It's immersed inside of you. It is transmuted to a whole other being that is you, Cancer. You know, the, the, the sum is bigger than the numbers. Everything that was in you, that was worked through until now, most especially 2019, God knows, 2018, I'm sorry, God knows what we went through. It's now being accumulated into this new creature called you. Welcome to your new life, Cancer. I don't know if you even recognize yourself in January. Now this is amazing because you this is great. This is this is your highest potential. I know this represents the self. Because even though this can speak of a reality, the world can mean success, travel, soul union, it can mean many, many amazing things. It's the last card of the tarot deck. It is the last it's, it's the, um, the aspiration of the fool. The fool travels through the journey of all the tarot decks, of all the 78 cards, and then he ends up being, of all the 77 other cards, I'm sorry. And this is the final, you know, this is the peak of the mountain. Now, it can be lonely, lonely up there on the mountain, but let's see what's up and who's with you. This is fantastic. This is a closing of a cycle and a beginning of a new one, but it's like a complete new chapter, if not a complete new book. Virgos had something similar, but more towards the, the, the third quarter of the year, 2019. You guys would have it like right on the first month, like bam. It's like you did the work. If you're here, cancer. Hands down, you did the work. I'm very proud of you. Okay, let's keep do let's keep going. Four of Pentacles and Five of Cups. Okay, I just want you to see them because they're pretty. And Rune be perdro. This is fantastic. Wow, so interesting. Okay, this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm gonna put these aside. They're gonna wait for us. And then for now, just for the for this talk, I'm going to put it here so you can see. I'm going to look at it for a little bit and then at one point I'll turn them around so you can see them as well. Um, the World, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Okay, you're not used to 
this new aspect of you in January, you're like, you're still in what was emotionally, in the old self. It's like the peel has been peeled, the costume has been changed, everything is different, but the heart carries what it carries, and you're still the old self inside of you. You are still very much concerned with survival and with the pain. It's hard to let go of the pain. It's hard to let go of the fear. I get it. Also, success can be very intimidating when you're suddenly getting the things that you've worked for for so long for, so hard. You're like, is this really real? What if things will go wrong? What if I will lose everything I worked so hard for? Now, it's okay for a little bit, because if we fly too high too fast, our systems can't necessarily handle it. So your systems are like taking it slowly, right? You're climbing a mountain, you're doing the rest in order to, you know, to work on the oxygen. If you're flying, then you're doing it, you know, it's okay. January is like, it's like you know you're already there, but you're, you're, you're kind of allowing your systems to... This is new territory, and the, some mysterious new aspects in you are coming out, Cancer in January, which you're curious about and excited about, but also a little bit scared, because <laughs> it's scary up there. There's a lot of fear that you're carrying with you, Cancer. You are carrying a lot of fear with you to the top, and we need to release it. Virgo also had their first month. January was also Five of Cups, but that was a significator. So maybe, I don't know if you want to watch Virgo. We'll see how it goes. Now we also have three, four, five. Twenty-one is three, four, five. This, t this tells me that you are on track, okay? Wherever you've been, Cancer, you're beginning this year on your path where you should where you need to be you're 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 getting there this is the right journey that you're supposed to be taking this is the right thing that you're supposed to be doing and it's really leading to to really great stuff but there is still balance with the fear that you're carrying with you there's still balance it's okay breathe breathe in breathe out perdo is also the letter p is the rune of the mystery It's the rune of the music. It's the rune of the magic. It's the rune of sexuality. I want you to allow yourself to explore yourself, Cancer, and discover yourself with love. January is about loving yourself and being proud of yourself, of what you've achieved, and breathing through the fear that you're carrying with you and trying to release it. There is someone around, but I think the main focus for you in January is yourself, which is great. The way to handle either grief or sadness from something that you've been carrying with you is with actions. Just do the actions. Get up, dress up, show up. The, the world is waiting to open up to you. 2019 is going to be big. If it starts like this, it's going to be big big there's an element of the self that was always inside of you that you didn't really know how to manifest and you know you've, you've known that it could be you but you worked so hard and you've succeeded and failed and succeeded and succeeded and failed you know like we all do fall seven times get up eight you know it's a Japanese phrase so you fall, you fell and you got up, you fell and you, you got so used to the mechanism of falling, getting up, suddenly you're just up and you're, well, I'm still up, what, well, I'm still up, still up, still up, what, not falling, but what, wait, what? <laughs> and now you need to get used to it. Now, of course, life is never perfect. There's always challenges, but we're stepping up to a different form of existence, Cancer. This is good. This is very, very good. Don't be scared. Okay. All right, let's, let's, let's move forward so we can see the bigger picture. I'm really liking this. 
Really, really liking this. Let's put it here. February! 